Right, my, my fear for you after last night's match, being a young player and having a really hard five setter, was how you're going to pitch up the next day. Saw you this morning, you're obviously a little bit stiff and sore. Um, but, but I thought it was a huge effort to win the third game. I thought you played absolutely beautiful and showed us again what you're capable of that you did last night. Um, did, did you feel you had a chance at that point? Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> in the third I, uh, I got the feeling that he uh, got a little bit tired. And uh, you no, guys. I, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I got like my third wind. Back in that game. <laughs> Thanks to you guys, been cheering, cheering for me. I think that was a big help. I think without you, I wouldn't have won the third game. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough for the fourth. But uh, all credit to Aslan, he just played beautiful sport. Oh, Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Aslan, when you play someone who's uh, has got good results and is up and coming like, like Nicholas is, it, does it change the way you kind of think when you go when you go on and then set your kind of store out for the match? Uh, I think I've uh, done this for long enough. You know, like if I'm not good enough on the day, I'm not good enough on the day. I think uh, you got to beat yourself before you can beat your opponent, and if you restrict yourself from playing playing the best you can on the day, then I think that that's half the battle. So as a, number, as a number two seat now, you've obviously uh, had another really hard match. Just tell the people what you would do tonight after after this this particular match, and what would you, how would you prepare for tomorrow now? Oh, uh, go out, get drunk, <laughs> meet at six in the morning, walk out, have a hit. That's it. <laughs> and that's why I love it to face it. Thanks, guys.